Hi, Les Druven here with a short video on how to determine the effective R value for a wood frame wall with a minimum R19 fiberglass bat and a minimum R5 exterior rigid insulation. In this example, we will use a wood frame wall with a 3 inch brick veneer cladding. So firstly, look at the wall framing detail so that you can assess all the individual components that make up the entire assembly. So starting from the outside, we would have our exterior air film, followed by 3 inch brick. Then we have a 1 inch air space. Next is the 1 inch rigid insulation. Then we've got some half inch OSB, that's oriented strand board sheathing. Then we have our two by six wood studs with an R19 fiberglass bat. And the finish is a half inch gypsum board. So what you need to do is, now that you've broken down all the different components that make up this assembly, will establish the R value for each individual component. So if we start from the outside, we're going to begin with the exterior air film. If you look on page B2 of your HRAI manual, you'll find that the air films are listed right at the top. And you'll notice that the exterior air film is, going, is listed at 0.17. And so you can simply take that number right out of your manual and insert it into the worksheet. Next we have the 3 inch clay brick. Now again on page B2 you will find brick fired clay. But in this case you'll notice that the R value is given to you in the R value per inch column. So that means that one inch of brick has an R value of 0 0.10. So since we have a three inch brick, you would multiply this by the thickness of the brick and you'd get 0.3 as an R value for a three inch brick. One inch airspace is also found on page B2. And here you've got air cavities. And for a wall, we've got a 0.75 to 3.5 inch airspace, and that is listed as a R value of 1.02. Our next component is the 1 inch continu or the, sorry, the R5 continuous insulation. So if we look at our options for rigid insulation, we can look on page B3 and we can find board and slab type insulation. And if you look at extruded polystyrene board types 2, 3, and 4, we can find that it has an associated R value of 5.05. .05. Since in this assembly, the minimum requirement is R5. We can go with this particular product. So we're going to have then a one inch layer of extruded polystyrene with an associated R value of 5.05. .05. Our OSB strand board, oriented strand board, is a sheet material. And you'll find that on page B4. And here you've got oriented strand board, OSB. And in this case, you'll notice that the R value is listed in the per inch column. And so that means that oriented strand board, a one inch thick oriented strand board, would have an associated R value of 1.41. But since the board is a half inch thick, then we would multiply this value by the thickness. Therefore, 1.41 times 0.5 equals 0.7. And that's what we have here on our worksheet, 
The next component is the R19 bat. And for the R19 bat, we can go to table one on page A2. Now note that the framing for this particular wall assembly is based on 16 inch on center. And so therefore we can use the values listed in table one. So on the very left hand column you find the nominal R value. So that's gonna be the starting R value of your fiberglass insulation. So in our example, we're using an R19 fiberglass bat. However, as you glance down, you'll notice that their R19 is not listed. But we do have an R18 and an R20. And so if you look across under the 2x6 column, you'll see that an R18 has an effective R value of 13.02 and the R20 has an associated R value of 13.79. Since R19 is in the middle, you'd simply add these two values and divide by two, and you should end up with an effective R value for an R19 bat coming out at 13.41. Now the half inch gypsum board can be found on page B5. Now be careful, there are two gypsum boards listed in the HRAI manual. This is the interior finish gypsum, so that's why you want to go to page B5, and here you've got your gypsum board interior finish. It's listed as 0.88 per inch. Since our gypsum board is half inch, you would simply multiply this by the thickness. So 0.88 times 0.5 is 0.44. So there we have 0.44 on our worksheet. Finally, we have our interior air film. And once again, the interior air film will be found on page B2. Please note that there are different values depending on whether it's a ceiling, floor, or a wall. In this case, we have a wall so that the interior air film has an R value of 0 0.68. We have now determined the individual R values for each of the components in this wall assembly. We can add them up and get a total of 21.77 as the effective R value for this wall assembly. If you wish, you can convert this imperial R value into metric by dividing by 5.67. So 21.77 divided by 5.67 will give us an RSI value of 3.84.